Hello everybody, welcome to another daily dose of gaming news and all that good stuff and as always I do my best to see if the, the, the things are synced up but uh, it seems to be an issue since uh, like five days ago it didn't or six almost six days ago is not syncing up very well I tried to resync again and see if it, it something happens I, I think it's mainly because of the 4k kind of situation here the videos are longer uh not longer but yeah kind of they are kind of longer and bigger in terms of uh, the what he has to sync so i don't know what's kind of issue i'll maybe try to email them something like that uh, uh maybe it's because i'm also in a, like the free tier of rumble uh so i kind of limited in terms of like the file size that i can upload and i don't know if that influences the the syncing issue there um and because the corporate wars uh, because they have different stances uh, regarding this kind of thing of if misinformation and everything. I don't know if they are trying to um, kind of screw each other up. Uh, but yeah. Uh, but at least we got... The, I, I post everything also through my uh, blogger page. Uh, and uh, also on my Patreon. Uh, that is uh, always an option. And of course some updates here and there on Twitter. And probably today I, I, man, I will manage to get the, the Void Pastors uh, upload uh, for the gaming series. Uh, not much happening. Uh, I, I think there are some Amazon deals and everything, uh, but I, I usually don't cover them because it's not, really not part of my market. Um, but I think there is like an, a 7900 XTX in Amazon, but like basically half the price, something like that. I, I, I'm not sure. I usually don't follow up on, on those like one one day deals. I try to cover like stuff that like a promo at least a week that it's uh, on par. So uh, because um, uh, if we start if I start trying to check daily deals, I I'm screwed. I don't have time to go around and 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 search. But I saw some uh, from my YouTube feed uh, there is some good deals on um, on Amazon Day or something like that. I don't know what it's called. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, today uh, th there's not much happening. Uh, but I got some good deals on the gaming side. Uh, it seems that the 16-pin connector kind of a thing is still happening after, uh, in this case, around basically one year after uh, functioning properly without any issues. Uh, again, this is like the the sleeping death of, of these GPUs because uh, you can spend a year checking if the connections are good, everything is okay, uh, no issues, and then all of a sudden... Uh, because I, I assume wear and tear. Uh, I, I assume mainly because the, the uh, not the quality of the plastic, but the fact that you it might be susceptible to to higher temperatures than to what <laughs> supposedly it, it's supposed to 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 handle the plastic. It will degrade over time, and maybe some again uh, becomes brittle or something like that. And then I don't know, maybe some short circuit or. All of a sudden, because it's more brittle or more soft, the, the plastic will start starts to slide off, or or, or I don't know. There is something happening there that, uh, that from here and there, there was a couple of months we didn't see anything. I didn't see anything regarding this, but yeah, uh, age will uh, get those GPUs. So again, uh, my advice here, um, uh, I, I don't know what to tell you, uh, because it's the connectors uh, on the GPU itself. I don't know if you have a 49 I assume you have uh, I don't know, enough enough money to 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 go to a repair shop that you trust and maybe see if they can uh, put the new connectors with the revision of the shorter um, sense pins here and I don't know replace the cables, uh, put new connectors uh, or uh, get a new adapter um, if possible if you if you can. Um, if you have done any constraints on your, on your PC case, uh, so uh, it, at least the material is new um, and it will be best if you have like the sense pins uh, with a revision, the new revision. Uh, the newer G G 4090s already have this one, uh, but the older GPUs don't have, they, they are still on the first revision of this connector. Um, and I think if you can, uh, this is a, a kind of a simple process, it's just uh, electrical connector, so it, it's not very complicated, you don't have to tear up the, the PCBs and everything. Uh, in terms of how usually they, they go around this, I think it's very simple. If you manage to get the, 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 the new revision, it has these four sense pins, they are shorter, so uh, if the, the connector uh, by any chance is not properly plugged, the sense pins will not... Uh, 
uh, will not ask for the power supply, the, 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 the power, and there is no uh, way of uh, melting the, the, the connector and by extent your GPU. Um, but yeah, uh, again, this is like a, a, a solitary case, but uh, it's one year after uh, being working normally without any issues, without any kind of creeping issues that it's been noticing. It was basically all of a sudden uh, kaput. Um, but yeah, uh, pay attention uh, if you have a 4090. 4080s, they don't usually, uh, unless maybe if you're doing some overclocking, like extreme overclocking on your GPU, uh, with the AIB kind of a thing there, maybe there is that possibility because you're trying to demand more power to that. Uh, but it's basically 4090s. 4080s, uh, if you are on stock, I don't see any issues because even the, the power demand is like 300 and something watts, not that much. Uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully uh, this will end soon. But uh, there are going to be some, uh, some like burning sleepers. Uh, my main concern is if they start burning uh, the, if burns a house or something like that this it's not worth it uh, for a gpu to to to, to put yourself in a, in a situation like that uh because i assume if you have a 4090 i think you have uh enough budget for you to at least try to replace this for a new uh, revised version of the of the connector in, on the gpu um and it's not that expensive i don't know 50 bucks with the uh, labor uh, i don't know something like that uh, i assume uh but yeah uh Got uh, some. Um, oh my God! This concept artist with uh, Unreal Engine Five, um, he's been doing like concept um, uh, kind of short uh, movies uh, inspired by some horror movies and everything. And I think basically he's uh, going to do a proper uh, kind of game here uh, uh, through this uh, Dark Phobia games. Uh, it will be called Graveyard Shift. It's atmospheric, basically, or I don't know if it is comparable to Five Nights at Freddy's, but in the cemetery. So you, you're a caretaker, a caretaker of the of this uh, graveyard, and in basically it's your first day on the job, and supposedly uh, things uh, usually are not that quiet <laughs> in the cemetery, which uh, it, it's not uh, a good it's not good news. Uh, but yeah, uh, interesting. Um, I will leave, I think there is already a, a Steam page there, uh, the, the, of course there is no uh, launch um, launch date, uh, but I think there is a, a Steam page, I will check out, I, I didn't check out, sorry, I, I will see if there is a, um, a page to this game, if it is I will leave it on the description uh, below the, the the link of this, uh, of this um, sorry, of this page of, of the CCF tech, uh, and basically that is it, I'm going to just straight up to gaming news gaming news gaming deals uh, we still have elden ring again i think it's one of those that when i uh when i can i, I will buy for sure the deluxe edition um uh, probably i will try to wait for another promotion uh, but if not I, I, when i have the the time and the opportunity i will for sure i don't care if it is on promotion or not uh when the game is that good and i really really want to play um usually i don't wait that much for a uh, for a deal, uh, this is one of the rare cases, Elden Ring. Uh, and again, I think that the the Deluxe Edition um, um, from Software is one of those developers that had the pedigree of just. Uh, I just advise you if you like what you played from them uh, on the past, uh, you will not be disappointed as long as, you, of course, you don't put the, the expectations above and beyond what they should be. Uh, but they do always, at the minimum, put a rock solid. Uh, uh, game in terms of gameplay be and it's not going to be an easy one <laughs> and um, it it's a lot of uh, you have to struggle a little bit it's part of what the, 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 their philosophy uh, to the struggle of overcoming difficulty stuff uh, things bosses whatever it is um, and in, in the reward when you overcome them it's uh, it's way better than um, if you just put on an easy mode, um, at least that's my opinion. Uh, uh, continue with Steam, we still have Planet of Lana until uh, 21 October. I think this is a very good one. I like this kind of games. They can't. Uh, they try to tell, uh, always try to tell a story through the environment uh, without dialogue and everything. I think it's a, a good achievement when you manage to tell your story by, with that. Um, and yeah, it's 25% uh, off till the 21st. Uh, again, platformer, uh, puzzle kind of a thing here. 
and I, I found a little uh, the 2k um, sorry 2k sale uh, publisher sale uh, on GOG which has all the XCOM and Bioshock games usually they are on, uh, on sale on Steam um, again the integration on mods might be a little bit more challenging here uh, especially with XCOM but I think it's even uh, the base game itself it's repairable over and over and of course uh, Nexus mods um, uh, I know that they have uh, the, the, their way of integrating with GOG uh, you have to do a little bit extra steps here uh, because I think that all the way it's the game is installed here uh, on uh, through Gyogi, but at least you don't have DRM or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, a huge promotion, 95% off. It's 2.99 the base game, uh, but then you have the uh, the packs here. What have chosen? I don't know why it doesn't appear the what I saw the um, the prices here. It's also, uh, let me check, what have chosen, it's also like $2.99 or something like that, and then the DLC packs, usually it's uh, it's advisable, uh, these, these packs here, uh, because of the mods, usually you have to, to have them, uh, because they're the, yeah, three ninety nine, so 90% off, and the packs like three ninety nine, two forty nine, and this one, what have chosen, the Tactical Legacy Pack, this is a little bit more expensive, uh, but yeah, uh, I think at minimum, uh, if you're uh, planning to to play the, the the base game the this one the XCOM 2 which is 2.99 and 3.99 the world of the chosen is very comprehensive DLC with a lot of uh, extra content and and different missions um even for a first playthrough i think it's well worth it uh so it's about uh, 4 and 3 so 7 dollars for this game i think it's an excellent deal and then afterwards you can play the the uh, XCOM Camera Squad uh, it's one of those that I think after my season of uh, XCOM I will play this one because it's basically like a follow-up in terms of story uh, in a what-if scenario of a lot of years after the the, 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 the the XCOM 2 is over it's kind of a what-if scenario when the, the, the XCOM 2 game is over uh, uh, you got a, a, a squad which is again by the name itself Camera Squad which is uh, got uh, normal people, aliens and all that, all that jazz um, but yeah it, it's very interesting this game um, we got also Outer Worlds. Uh, this is the standard edition. Uh, there is, of course, the spacers, whatever, with intense uh, things. But here it's seventy percent off. I think it's a very good deal. Nine uh, nine dollars or eight ninety nine. God damn it! Why don't know why they price things like this? Uh, but yeah. Uh, but there is also an expansion pack. Uh, but at least the base game is here, uh, kind of on the cheap. It's a very, it's from the same guys that did uh, Fallout New Vegas, so the, you will have their their kind of style of humor and and also in terms of gameplay. Um, I think it's uh, it's one of those that I would like to play also in one of these days after I finish all the series. I'm trying to get from older games to newer games, uh, so it's basically six years catching up. Uh, and also, of course, you got Bioshock, uh, the remastered versions, the first and the second one. Uh, they are in excellent deal here. Um, they are basically in the same price that usually that there is on Steam. So Bioshock Remastered 1 and 2, uh, 80% and 82%, uh, and 85%, sorry. Um, I think, yeah, the remastered uh, Bioshock uh, 2 classics include Bioshock Remastered 1. Uh, yeah, I think this is uh, gets the... Um, Oh my god, sorry. The DLC for the second one and of course the Infinite uh, Bioshock Infinite Complete Edition already has the Burial at Sea uh, episodes also included. So 80% off $10, $11. So I think they, they are very good deals. Uh, if you are hesitant, I always advise you to play the first one. Um, uh, you will see a lot of um, things similar in other games, but uh, th those games were very much inspired in the how Bioshock approach uh, certain gameplay uh, and storytelling um, um, tricks here. Um, uh, so usually the plot twist, it's the most well known, but some gameplay mechanics here and there that they implemented basically here, or they didn't reinvent the wheel, but they, they, they uh, made it a twist. Uh, and I think it's uh, very well worth uh, while playing this game at least once. Um, and of course, and then after you like it, the Bioshock 2, it's kind of a follow-up. It's very, very interesting uh, how they are going about it the, this time around. And of course, Bioshock Infinite tries to wrap up, but they didn't wrap up too well. Mainly because of budget constraints, that they had like a huge expanding world uh, planned at the time. But then they have a lot of budget constraints and they have to cut a lot of stuff. And it wraps up 
okay-ish, it's, but it's not, it's not the, 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 the perfect ending for, for what it uh, could have been. Uh, but yeah, it's very decent, I, I made the gameplay series of this one. And yeah, basically this is it, I'm going to wrap up with my plugin to my uh, Patreon, just for extra help, uh, mainly regarding in storage for my PC. Uh, which is basically to have backups of backups for the projects that I do for my private clients and of course uh, also more storage for the videos that I do for the channel mainly because uh, I do everything now in 4k very high quality bitrate uh, usually one hour recordings is like 50 gigas 50 50 five zero gigabytes of uh, of uh, huge amounts of data for each video so uh, I, I usually throw out like Two videos per day so it, it it's too much i have to um i have a lot of stuff that i need to to to, to erase from time to time so i can keep uh, those gigabytes in check or that those terabytes in check uh, but yeah uh hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next one so until then let me master out